Hello, welcome to The Update. I'm Susie Thompson. The inquest into the death of a Brisbane woman and her young children is drawing to a close with her parents delivering a harrowing impact statement. Hannah Clark and her three children were killed in 2020, set on fire by her estranged husband, Rowan Baxter, who ambushed them during a school run. The inquest has heard from emergency services, family and friends, as well as psychologists and domestic violence support workers in a bid to determine if more could have been done to prevent the tragedy. A former AFL player and his brother will remain behind bars charged over a brutal attack on two women in Perth. Brennan Stack and his younger brother Shay Martin are accused of repeatedly punching and kicking two women in a car park on March 20, following an argument about two car doors colliding. The men have again been refused bail. The magistrate saying the allegations against them are so serious it would not be appropriate to allow them back into the community. They're due back in court next month. Liz Moore in the New South Wales Northern Rivers region is again cleaning up as the Wilsons River drops below the flood level but locals want to make sure they're better protected next time. Lismore MP Janelle Saffin wants a reconstruction commission to look into the crisis. She says homes and businesses need to be rebuilt by experts who understand flood mitigation. It's our patch, it's our turf, we stay there. How do we do it better? Australian journalist Cheng Lei is facing a closed trial in China over claims she released state secrets. Cheng worked for China's English language channel CGTN when she was suddenly taken off air in 2020. She's been held in detention ever since, even though the allegations have been repeatedly denied. The weather is making it difficult for emergency services to access a helicopter that's crashed north of Melbourne with five people on board. The chopper was flying in convoy with another aircraft when it disappeared amid low-lying cloud around Mount Disappointment. In sport, the Tigers will be looking for their first win of the season when they take on the Titans tonight in the Round 4 NRL opener. Round 3 of the AFL kicks off tonight with last year's finalists, the Western Bulldogs, looking for their first win of the season when they take on the Red Hot Swans. In entertainment news, it's been revealed Will Smith was asked to leave the Oscars after he slapped Chris Rock, but he refused. The Academy has released a statement clarifying why the actor was allowed to stay. It admits things could have been handled differently. The family of Bruce Willis has made a shock announcement revealing the diehard star will be stepping away from acting after being diagnosed with aphasia, a serious health condition that affects cognitive abilities and how he communicates. And HBO has announced the Game of Thrones prequel series House of the Dragon will make its debut on August 21. And that's the latest from the Nova podcast team. We'll see you in the morning for another episode of The Update. I'm Susie Thompson. Thank you.